back to our Cross Canada tour. This is day eight, part two. In this episode, we descend the Anarchist Pass and make our way into Rock Creek. My personal experience was it was a heck of a lot easier to descend this mountain than to ascend it. And uh, as we were descending, we were going rather fast down into Rock Creek. Um, it was a little bit difficult to control your bike because of the speed that we were going at but we were able to make it to the bottom without any complications. And then we made our way into Rock Creek and we were so exhausted that we decided that we were just gonna get our campground there and just stay there. Personally, I was so tired that I was able to just lay on the picnic bench and fall asleep on planks. So not the most comfortable thing, but I was that exhausted that I was able to fall asleep. That was my personal experience. My dad is now going to explain his. Yeah, descending the Anarchist Pass was very difficult because I was so physically exhausted. I had a very difficult time controlling my bike coming down the mountain. Uh, this is where mistakes can be made and where you can have a wipeout. And I really felt unsafe as we were coming down the mountain. So when we finally got into Rock Creek, we had decided that we were going to end our bike ride uh, this day and sleep for the night at Blaine Memorial Campground, right on the uh, Kettle River by the famous Kettle Valley Rail Trail. We took some of this on our bike ride, uh, not all of it, but uh, it was enjoyable. So we stayed at the campground. Uh, we didn't even set up our tent. Uh, as Joshua mentioned, as we got our campground, we just went to sleep right away. Uh, I had passed out for a couple of hours uh, because I was so physically exhausted. And the only thing that woke us up was actually a bit of a sun shower. Uh, we set up our tent and uh, made supper and got an early sleep that night. Uh, at the end of this episode, you'll see our campground and our camp setup. So enjoy this episode, and we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, just coming down Anarchist Mountain. So we're going pretty fast coming down. We'll come into a community called Rock Creek. And then after that, it'll be Midway. Creek. Look like 
acreage is to me. I believe there's a town. And we'll rest here and get lunch and see what we're going to do for the afternoon and evening. This may be a better view of the town, Rock Creek, and the road in which you get into Rock Creek. Oh, it's pretty windy going into town there. Well, I really hope we don't have to uh, go uphill after this. Just coming down the mountain side. Some switchbacks here. Welcome to Rock Creek. Desperately need to rest. To get something to eat. There you can see number three east and thirty three north. Grand Fork straight ahead. Kelowna is to the left. are at the campground in Rock Creek after a very difficult day of climbing the summit of Anarchist Pass. We're about to eat supper. We have some pre-cooked rice. My dad's gonna have some tuna. Got some sardines. Cup of soup. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have a cup of soup. It's been a very difficult day, to say the least, and I think we're eight days in. We're not counting days anymore. It's too difficult to keep track of, if I'm being honest, so. Yeah, it's Friday, July 7th. That's what we can tell you, Yeah. 2023. So we had a good lunch, and uh, we're gonna have a good supper, and we're gonna use our jet boil again. Uh, it's really good. Uh, haven't had any complaints. Again, thanks to Dean Burrard for uh, mentioning it and doing a review on it on his uh, bike tours. Uh, it's done him well and it's done us well. And we have slept multiple times today because of how tired we were because we got up at four last night. Yeah, we did not want to do that anarchist pass in the heat. Uh, it was going up to 38 degrees in the Soyuz today and there's just no way that a person uh, could climb that mountain pass in that kind of weather. No. I, I, I just, I don't think it would have been possible for us to do it. No way. Um, just would have been zapped. We're zapped as it is, so. Uh, this is our tent again. Uh, it is the woods tent, the Cascade 2, uh, hence two people tent, uh, two persons. And uh, it's really good. It... Uh, no complaints. Uh, we've uh, been in that tent in a massive downpour, and uh, it's been a really, really good tent. Uh, it's kept us dry. Uh, you can see inside, uh, we use um, two uh, MEC mats, and uh, we have two sleeping bags that we got, believe it or not, at Walmart. They're very, very good, very compact and two blow-up sleeping pillows. Uh, and also got the bear spray down there as well. So, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of tight quarters, but uh, it does this well, and uh, I'm very impressed with it. It's got two vents, uh, two vestibules, and we're able to put everything underneath there and uh, keep everything dry. And then normally we uh, um, lock our bikes up uh, to a fixed surface like a picnic table or a tree. Uh, so there's our bikes uh, all locked up. Uh, we do a cable lock around the fr front and a cable lock on the back to the picnic table with a U-lock. 
uh, that we use. And uh, six water bottles, three on each. And Josh, uh, he always has a camel back. I think the camel back is two and a half liters. Yeah, two and a half liters. Yeah, so not, not quite three, but uh, there's a lot of water in there. And uh, we also carry a little cooler uh, which has a lot of water and uh, Gatorade and supplies. Uh, we're using the Gatorade crystals. You can see the crystals. Much, much easier for us to transport. So if we want uh, a Gatorade, we just have the water, we shake it up, and it's all good. So this is Friday, July 7th. We are going to have our supper, and then we're going to rest for the night and make it to Grand Forks tomorrow and Christina Lake the second uh, day after that. And then do our third mountain pass, the Bonanza Pass. The Bonanza, that's right. Okay, so let's enjoy our supper.